Um, the water is super rising fast. I think they're putting the gates up to the wall to our city to protect us from the great floods of the river. And as I was riding this morning, um, I just had some thoughts I just want to share super quickly. Um, choose your own anxiety. Choose it well. You don't have to watch the news. You choose to turn it on. You don't have to click that link. It's bait. Links are created to be clicked on. And the more clever the bait, the quicker you are to click. Be mindful of that. I have not watched mainstream media news in nearly four years. I don't plan on it. I see bits and tidbits of things on social media, but if it causes me anxiety, I delete and block. I'm not going to partake in things that create fear and anxiety in the world because it feeds, you see. We feed that by partaking in it safely. My solution isn't a solution to the world's problems, it's a solution for me. It's my choice. And that's what brings me joy is to not partake in fear and anxiety and that sort of thing. So I don't know who this may be for today, but if you're in a state of fear, you're not in a state of faith. If you're in a state of anxiety, you're not in a state of grace. See, we need joy in our lives. And the thing that robs us of our joy, the thing that steals that joy from us is the enemy. So. If you are partaking in that state of fear, anxiety, and grief, then you are actually giving in somewhat, so to speak, perhaps even not mindfully, unconsciously even, subconsciously, to the enemy, all right? So stay away from the enemy. We say the Lord's Prayer, lead us not into temptation and deliver us from the evil one, okay? The devil lies in the airwaves, right? That was an old saying back in the day. Well, I believe telecommunication, media, that sort of thing is delivered through the airwaves. Perhaps there's something to that. So if we don't feed into it, we're not fueling it, right? I don't know who this is for today. I'm just telling you what works for me. It doesn't mean that I'm not mindful of what's going on in the world. What's meant to be for me, God will gift me. He will deliver that to me, right? So perhaps maybe I'm delivering this to you today as a message to say, choose your own anxiety, right? Choose it well. It's your life. You can live it in a state of fear and faithlessness, or you can live it in a state of grace. Your choice. I love you. Have a great day.